remove the test plug. The test plug comes apart. The defibrillation pads connect to this in one direction. They will only fit one direction. Okay. These pads, as shown in the diagram, operated as an AED. We flip it to turn the knob to the left. AED function comes on. This patient is in ventricular fibrillation. There is a boot up period, so it may even be helpful to start this before you hook the pads up to the patient. Analyzing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Shock advised. Stay clear of patient. Deliver shock now. Press the shock button. Shock delivered. Manual defibrillation, instead of coming down to AED, we're going up into the manual defibrillation mode. These numbers represent the energy level setting. 150 is the adult dose normally started for a patient in ventricular fibrillation or pulseless ventricular tachycardia on the Philips device. Because all monitors or heart defibrillators are now biphasic, it is dependent on the company to tell you what the adult therapy dose tell you what the adult therapy dose is. We've already turned it to 150. We press charge and shock. You can also escalate the energy by doing this. Charge. We light up the shock and deliver. That's it for manual defibrillation. A synchronized cardioversion of atrial fibrillation. So in this patient who's become unstable, we're going to go to 100 joules. We have atrial fibrillation with a rapid ventricular response. We're going to deliver 100 joules of energy. We're going to charge, synchronize the shock, which will put the little white dots over here saying it is synchronized. And then we're going to deliver the shock. You will have to press and hold the shock button to make sure it shocks. Okay? Done. You will need to connect the three lead ECG monitoring cable if you want to do synchronous pacing. So, pacer function is turned on. We're going to come down here. We're going to check the pacer rate. Run it up with the up arrow button. We're going to check the pacing output. And we're going to run it up. And then we're going to set start pacing. Start pacing is something that you'll have to push or else it will not start. Now, we aren't getting full capture, so we're going to run the pacing output higher until we get a pacing spike for every QRS complex.